In all my project, I think I, I try to make the technology disappear so that it just feel like something a bit uh, surreal or magical. It's about that connection, but not about the, you know, the, the mechanism or the interface. Basically, the interactivity is more about creating a strong connection between uh, the spectator and the piece. When I was younger, I wanted to uh, study in cinema, and by a series of accidents, I kind of ended up in a program called multimedia. At one point, like those two passions kind of uh, joined uh, while I was working with Arcade Fire. All the hope and a vial of pain, in the light they both look the same. They've been friends for forever. I knew Regine before Arcade Fire exists. When they released Funeral, they asked me if I was interested in doing the website. And then they invited me on tour to take pictures and help doing little projection. And then they asked me if I was interested in doing a, a music video for them. I thought it could be interesting to implement a computer-specific layer to it since uh, all the kids would watch it anyway online. When I did the Neon Bible project, I was more um, a developer, a programmer, but I was still like really passionate about uh, filmmaking, so I was doing little films, uh, short films on the side. It was one of those first hybrid projects, and I felt a bit bad to describe myself as a director for a web based project at that time. So uh, I kind of have seriously described myself as a web-friendly director. For me, it's a balance between what I propose and, and the input of the spectator. I'm not really into doing like choose your own adventure or really crowdsourcing. I'm still in a tradition that is closer to uh, filmmaking. It needs the spectator, but at the same time, there is a line, there is a path, and there is a story told. Blah Blah, the project I did with the National Film Board of Canada. We designed what I call a film for computer, and it's all triggered by the click of a mouse, like really simple interaction but we tried to explore the narrative possibilities. We transformed the website into a large-scale exhibition in Paris at the Gaîté Lyrique. We took each chapter of the experience and transformed it into a real-life uh, interactive scene. So it was not the mouse, it was like touching the walls and sensors and projections and wind blowing everywhere. So for us, it was one of the first times that we could see like tons of kids at the same time connecting with the piece. It's really abstract normally, you know, you put it online and you hope that people will enjoy it. Looking at people playing with my stuff, it was one of the most satisfying things. Technology opened a palette of possibilities and the most exciting part of, of it for me is figuring out stuff while doing it. I did a film on Siguras called Ini. We shot two nights uh, in London, but we tried to make something different, atmospheric. We edited the, the project and then manipulate those images by photographing the digital uh, edit, then creating optical effects with uh, sad bold crystal, and then re-photographing that. So there was this like post-production, like really handmade, imperfect feel. In the latest project I've done, I've been really interested in going beyond uh, traditional control like the mouse and the keyboard and just explore other interactions that feel more visceral and, uh, and direct. 
It's an interactive film based on an arcade fire song called Reflector. By connecting two devices, like our mobile in our hand and computer screen, we create an illusion that we're projecting images from our hand through the screen. We're using camera vision, the data of a gyroscope and accelerometer through WebSocket. Through this combination of technology, we're able to know exactly where the phone is, the orientation, the distance. In the end, you have a direct impact on the film presented. The film in itself is a tale about an Haitian that meets three guardians that uh, through ritual get her on the other side. And so there's this quest about truth and a metaphor about identity, uh, duality and uh, technology. The interactivity in itself is part of the message. We're putting in context through camera vision our own environment and our gestures that are kind of echoed into the film, the mirror, the reflector seeing ourselves through the eyes of someone else. A foot in the fiction and a foot in reality. I try to bridge those uh, two passions, like cinema, filmmaking on one side, and digital potential on the other side. So yes, I now consider myself uh, a director. <laughs> Thank you.